Hey, this is Lisa from Fit Lab, and welcome to our detailed product review of Fitbit Lux. You will find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check user reviews and the latest prices. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know my final verdict on whether this wellness tracker is worth buying or not. Things you should know before purchasing Fitbit Lux. I noted that the Fitbit Lux stands out from other Fitbits and its competitors because of its streamlined design and stainless steel case. Its AMOLED color display is also unique. Since it is light, less bulky, and comfortable on the wrist, I find it best suited for athletes and have gifted it to several of my athlete friends. They like it. Before I purchased the Fitbit Lux, I always thought it was a successor to Inspire 2. However, I came to learn that it is a whole new device. Therefore, before you buy Fitbit Lux, you should know that it is not an improvement of Inspire 2 if you own one. You should also know that it has a smaller screen than most smartwatches. Its screen size is a significant consideration. You should first see a sample, especially if you want to order online. I enhance its performance by constantly deleting unnecessary files that eat up the storage space. Here are the reasons I think you should buy Fitbit Lux and reasons I think you shouldn't. Reasons to buy, long battery life. I travel a lot and I like the long battery life because I do not have to carry the charger every time I travel for two to five days. It has a battery life of up to five days, which is convenient. Five days of use without charging makes it reliable, especially when traveling. The feature benefits most of those who travel for several days. Waterproof. This feature is advantageous because you do not have to replace the phone regularly. I love swimming and a waterproof watch means I do not have to keep removing it whenever I get into the swimming pool. I lost most of my watches when I went swimming, removed them and forgot to retrieve them when done. I can now swim with the watch. You should buy it because it is waterproof. It benefits most individuals who like to swim or work in wet conditions. Calories monitor. I like to watch my weight and having a companion that monitors how I burn calories throughout the day is impressive. I keep track of the calories and know how much I should work out at the end of the day to meet my calorie burning targets. You should buy the watch to keep track of your calories. It benefits most of those who want to stay fit and healthy. Reason not to buy. It does not have an altimeter. An altimeter is advantageous because it assists you in knowing the altitude. I am a wild photographer and I often climb mountains and hills. One of the basic information we need is our height above sea level. A watch that provides such information is an excellent tool in our work. A watch with an altimeter would benefit hikers, construction workers, long distance drivers, and wild photographers like myself. Lacks Spotify music control feature. Music storage and Spotify control feature are advantageous for music lovers and entertainment. I like playing music with my watch and Bluetooth speaker in my cabin. With my Fitbit Lux, I cannot enjoy such music because it cannot control Spotify and does not have music storage. This feature can benefit everyone who listens to music. How does Fitbit Lux compare to other alternatives in the market in terms of specification? Battery life. Its battery life is lower than those of its alternatives. However, it is long enough to serve the purpose. Weight. It is lighter than its competitors and hence more comfortable. Dimension. It is smaller than its competitors and thus less bulky on the wrist. Resolution. It has an average resolution. It is not the lowest and not the highest. From the table, it is clear that Fitbit is smaller and lighter compared to its competitors. Those features give it a better feel on the wrist. It is more comfortable to wear for a long time compared to its competitors. Although it has a lower battery life than its competitors, I still find its battery life convenient enough to serve its purpose. Also, it has an average resolution, which makes it ideal for regular use. Verdict. So, should you buy Fitbit Lux? Yes, I bought the watch because I needed a smaller and light watch that I could put on for long hours without feeling any discomfort on my wrist. Additionally, I needed a watch with good battery life, mainly because I travel for several days. 
It, however, has serious competitors, which you can also consider, especially if you need higher resolution and longer battery life. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know what content you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.